I am here to talk today about my pair of Blundstone boots. And I gotta say, I have been so excited to make this video. I have been imagining making this video way before I made a YouTube channel. I didn't want this to be like the first video on my channel, so I waited a little while. But part of the reason maybe even for starting this channel was just so I could make this video. Because basically, when I was thinking about buying Blundstone boots, I looked all over for videos about Blundstones, and they were all made by men. Okay. Okay, I did find one or two videos made by women, but I felt like I needed more content because I, this was an investment purchase and I wanted a female perspective. I wanted to hear what women thought about these shoes and I just wasn't finding enough content. And that made me realize, wait, I can be that person to give another perspective and a female one at that. I also will say that I couldn't find any female review videos of the Bloodstone dress boots, which is what I have. So especially if you're thinking about like, hmm, do I want to get the dress boots or the more classic style, this video might be helpful for that decision making process as well. I'm excited to share with you just my thoughts, reactions. I'm going to also make sure I get some good shots of me in the boots and like what they look like walking and some close-ups so that you guys can really get a good sense for what these boots are like. So hi, I'm Aylin, and this is my channel, Slice of Light, where I talk about simple living, building an empowering mindset, and a little bit about photography and videography. If any of those topics sound interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button. You can hit the bell button to get notified when new videos come up. And if you end up liking this video, please hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. I want to add the caveat that I'm not being like funded by Blundstone to create these videos. As of right now, I definitely don't have enough subscribers for any kind of like deals or anything. So this is just me giving my honest opinions about my blunnies. So as I mentioned before, I decided to go with the Blundstone dress boot and I am so glad that I did. I was worried that they would be somehow less hardy or less useful for hiking or that sort of thing. And what I found is that they're just still super hardy. They still have really good kind of grippers at the bottom of, of the boot. As you can see, mine are a little bit used, but they're pretty decent. I also love the squared off toe here. I think that gives it just this like little bit of elevated look that I was really going for and that I really wanted. It makes these boots that much more versatile and usable in many different situations. I just really love the dress boot. And so this is the kind of boot that I can wear out on a hike or I can wear it to a relatively fancy dinner. And so I think this is such a great travel boot. Instead of having to, you know, pack your hiking boots in addition to a boot to wear out on the town, you can just literally wear these on the airplane and know that you're set for the trip. What I also like about these is that they kind of serve the purpose of that chunky boot look that I wanted in my wardrobe. I had actually ordered Doc Martens as well as a few pairs of Blundstones. I found that these personally I thought were way more comfortable. They also were like a little bit less chunky. So I have really small feet and so chunky boots look like disproportionately chunky on my feet. Like if you have the same amount of platform on a smaller foot, then proportionally it's like, a bigger ratio of chunk to foot length, if that makes sense. And so I feel like chunky boots end up looking just like really crazy on my tiny feet. And maybe it's also kind of a grass is greener phenomenon type thing where I keep thinking that like they look weird on my feet and on other people's and maybe that's some of my own issues I need to 
get over. But anyway, my point is like when I wear these boots, I can have a slightly chunky look without feeling like I have clown feet or just feeling that it's like so far out of my typical style that it feels kind of unnatural to my look. I feel like these are great because they can serve as sort of a classic Chelsea boot that I wear when I want to look nice, or it can be kind of down to earth. I like that I can wear something dressier without feeling like I'm being like overly dressy by adding a little bit of chunk to the boot. I think sometimes, at least for me as a woman, I like to dress up or like I like to wear something that looks a little professional, like for example, this blazer I'm wearing right now. Sometimes when I wear a blazer, people who don't get it make comments like, ooh, what are you dressed up for? And it's like, I'm just wearing this. It's actually comfier than a lot of other things that I might wear. But somehow by wearing something like a Blundstone, I'm bringing down how dressy the outfit looks without kind of like making it look totally out of place. And I think it just looks more natural and that I'm not trying to like overly dress up but I still look really put together. I guess my point is just that these boots can kind of dress up or down an outfit quite easily and they can be super casual, but also fit in really well with like a fancier outfit. As far as weather goes, I think that these are really, really hardy. I live in Minnesota. I've been wearing them in the fall and the winter and I think they just protect your feet well and are pretty good on ice. I will say there are definitely other boots that might be a little bit better on ice, but I think I could confidently wear these and not feel like I need to really carefully scuffle. Like I do think that they have decent to good grip. And I also get really cold feet a lot of the time. And so I will say again, if you really care about warmth, there is a thermal version of Blonde Stones as well as, you know, maybe you want some real, real winter boots. But I will say for everyday purposes, I think these are just fine in really, really cold temperatures, um, and they really serve me well. They do the job. One thing I will say is that although I have short feet, kind of small feet, I do have wider feet proportionally. And so one issue was when I first purchased these, first of all, they're kind of like hard to get on. I'll show you some of that in some B-roll. But basically, they're kind of a little bit constricting around here. They're a little bit tight. And so I actually also ordered a size up. But what I realized was I should just go with a size that's really meant for the length of my foot. And gradually, they've slowly started to stretch a bit around here. At first, when I was standing, they were fine, but then when I would sit for long periods of time, they might start to feel a little bit uncomfortable, even verging on painful, but they have stretched over time. And I also think that I've just gotten used to the way they formed to my feet. And I really have had no problems, no regrets. I'm really glad I didn't overly size up. That could have led to a lot more problems, I think, than sticking with my right size. I will say also that they say you should really choose your size based on the length of the foot that you should have. When you put it on, you should be able to kind of like put your finger in behind your ankle so that you have a little bit of wiggle room. You also wanna make sure that your toe isn't hitting the front of the shoe, the, the front of the boot, because especially if you're going on long hikes in these, that might become a problem. One other thing I wanna mention about sizing is that at least what I read was that the half sizes in blonde stones are about the width, not the length. So if you tend to have really slender feet, maybe just stick with the whole size, but if you tend to have wider feet, you can get the half size up and it won't change the length of the boot. So it's just about width, which I kind of like that system, honestly, because I have slightly wider feet, I don't wanna have to like artificially size up. You should also note that they come in Australian sizes. So like I said, this is three and a half. I typically wear a six or maybe six and a half shoe and so you have to make sure that you're doing the conversion correctly so that you don't get some kind of crazy sized boot but hopefully you're you've already realized that i will also say just like the leather is really high quality and hardy it's just really good quality and even after lots of wears there's just like a little bit of worn in but i've also seen videos and pictures of blundstones over the long term that the leather is just so beautiful and supple as it ages and that these boots only become more and more comfortable and so I think they're just such a great investment. This is sort of what it looks like. 
on the inside. And you've got these nice tabs, which A, really help you kind of pull on the boot, but I also kind of like the look. Again, it brings that slightly more casual look to your outfit, which I like, but you can also kind of hide those tabs, either kind of tucking them in or whatever, if you're feeling like that's not the look you want to go for on a particular day. But I'm just really obsessed. It's just really hardy leather, great for any weather. Even if it rains, even if it snows, you're gonna feel good in these. And I haven't added any kind of like protectant or anything. I've just worn them, rain or shine, and they're doing just great. I've seen other reviews where they've really discovered you don't necessarily need to do much protection for these boots. Another question you might have about these boots is color. How do you pick a color? I really struggled. I actually ended up buying a few pairs of Blundstones and like debating about whether I wanted the rounded toe, what color I wanted, and eventually I just landed on black. And I think this is just my opinion, but if you're struggling, just go with black because they can serve another purpose of being a little bit more elevated and fancy in certain contexts, especially with this dress boot and kind of the more square toe. So I just think in general, if you want that sort of flexibility of the boot, maybe go with black. But that being said, I love the brown look. I love the kind of off black look. I love the blue look. So, I mean, whatever you choose, I think they're going to be boots that are really versatile and that you're able to use in so many different situations. It's just incredible. I'm so happy with my purchase. I truly don't have any complaints. I wear them all the time. I think maybe the only complaint is that they're a little bit difficult to put on given that they are sort of a Chelsea boot. So they have the stretch there, so they should be kind of easier to put on. But as you can see, it's a really hardy elastic, which I think is part of why it's harder to put on. And again, it's a little bit tight across here, but I think that just makes it hardier. It makes it so that I'm less likely to lose the boot as I'm walking. It just feels like it's very much on my foot. So I think it's worth that little bit of extra effort when you're putting them on, but it's still easier than wearing like lace-up boots or something like that. So again, there's the sole. And I just, I love the look of these boots. They're just so classic, really, really beautiful. So now I will put them on and show you guys a little bit more about what they look like on I'm the type of person that I like search high and low for the perfect item before I buy it. I, I do all my research and really look for pros and cons of every single boot. And I can honestly say, even with the relatively high price tag, I just think they are so worth it. And they're one of my best investment pieces. I'm so glad that I purchased these boots. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you ended up liking this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe below. You can hit the bell alert button. I really, really appreciate it. And hopefully this gave you kind of a female perspective on the Blundstone boots. But all I can say is I highly recommend them, no regrets. And I'm the type of person that does frequently have regrets, especially when buying shoes and boots. So I, I really think if you're on the fence, just go for it. You probably won't regret it. That's all I have for you folks. So hopefully I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.